you wrote the score for Mean Girls, the Broadway show that's currently on Broadway, getting ready to tour and coming to Cincinnati, right? And um, your wife, Tina Fey, wrote the, she's the playwright. She's the playwright. Right. So um, tell me a little bit about what, what you did and how you guys worked together in putting this together for Broadway. Um, or did you? Did you work together? Or we didn't you... work. We worked totally separate. One of these days, I hope to meet her. <laughs> I'm kidding. We've been married for years. We. This is something we've been talking about for years. You know, Tina and I, when working together, uh, as long as we have been either dating or married, that goes back to like 1994 in Chicago, Illinois, when we were both working at a place called the Improv Olympic. So we've had a long history of working together and dating and marrying and having kids. But this is one that we'd actually talked about. We want to get back into a theater piece. We've been talking about it forever. You know, we've had all these diversions with television, with 30 Rock and SNL, Kimmy Schmidt, that we finally got to it. Um, the, the movie was such a big hit, and we both said, do we think there's something in there that we could put on a Broadway stage? Does it have uh, the kind of appeal that people would want to see it, and we decided yes, and then we decided that it also felt like it was a property that could sing, which is an expression that I learned when we started to get into Broadway, that some, some stories sing and some don't. This one felt like it had characters that could sing. So we said, yeah, we'll start looking at this, and uh, the first step we made, we went to Lauren Michaels, who produced the movie and who we've worked with forever, and uh, He's the one who went to Paramount, got the property rights, and we were able to begin actually writing. And we went out and hired a, a lyricist. We hired Nell Benjamin, who had just had success with Legally Blonde. And then from that point on, it was just a real sense of give and take um, where we wanted to keep elements of the movie and where we wanted to put songs, who characters, how we wanted them to sound when they sang uh, until we were you know, well on our way. And then you become uh, another part of the process is when you're actually putting little things on its feet in front of audiences and people in a room, so. When I listen to the soundtrack, I can really hear the Mean Girl personality in the Mean Girl songs, and I can hear the sweetness in the the um, the secondary friend set, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. without giving anything away on the on the show before no, people can. see it, but, um, you know. With the Janice and Damien, the, 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 right, the secondary, how they sound different than the, the way you would perceive the Mean Girls to sound, yeah. right. When writing this, I was able to go back and pick out little things and how would this person do it, how would this person approach this melody, and then also as a, I also score film as well, and so I was listening to you know, the people that film score and be able to dig into things like, oh, how would John Barry, if I were actually going to do Regina George as a character in a Bond movie, because to me she feels like that, how did he build chord structures that felt like people would immediately hear that and go, oh, she's a very sophisticated villain, and the music would try to tell those stories. So yeah, I listened to I listened to everybody. Very interesting. And you said you um, you went to Kent State, right? right, in Ohio. Yeah, that's right. Um, for your undergrad. That's right. And you're from Ohio. I am from Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, up near. Um, I'm from a, a town called Garrettsville, Ohio. Well, um, why should they come out and see the show? They should see the show because, um, first of all, it is just a great time. It is, it's really, I'm not playing my chain or anything, but it is great music, it is fun, there's singing, there's dancing, it's an extremely entertaining, e a funny evening to go to. It's also a great thing to do with your family, because as we found it on Broadway, the story resonates with everybody, but it really resonates with young people, because they can, uh, they see themselves in high school, they know where they fit in, they look and they, see who I need to listen to, you know, in, in that world. And then it's also the way the movie works uh, with adults is the same way. You saw the movie, the musical is saying a lot of the same thing. Uh, uh, and just it's just a very uplifting and funny evening. You'd come out of there talking to your kid about things. You know. What did you think of that part? You say to your kid, and your kid goes, I like that part. Let's talk about it some more. Cincinnati, please come out and see the show. It's a great time.